turn this over to the next theme, which is using culture as a resource. Again, one of the themes that comes through the Honoring Nations winners is they're able to tap into the culture and use it as a resource for making advances, whether it's in the cultural arena, whether it's economics, social, uh, health, right across all the areas. Uh, almost all of the Honoring Nations winners have some component of culture to them. And uh, today we have with us uh, Lori Gutierrez, uh, who's with the Kwaki Pueblo Construction Services Corporation. Uh, and uh, they won an award in last year in 2000. Uh, yeah, are we in 2002 already? Oh my gosh. In 2000, they won an award uh, for the Poe Cultural Center, uh, which is an incredible place. And in fact, we'll be at, many of us will be going out there on Saturday uh, to visit the Poe Center. And what they, I'll let their uh, Lori speak you know, to what they've actually done. Uh, but let me just say that it's an incredible <coughs> place of cultural revitalization and preservation in economic development um, and that's taking place uh, on Lori's watch. So welcome, Lori. Good afternoon. My name is Lori Gutierrez, and I am Assistant Director for Pewaukee Public Construction Service Corporation. Um, and to my discussion, I apologize, I extend my apologies for George Romero, who is Lieutenant Governor and Executive Director of the Post Center. He was unable to make this um, presentation today. Um, and our discussion is about um, using culture as a resource. Currently, Pewaukee Pueblo is in a state of revitalization. The revitalization process of today is merely one chapter in a long <coughs> process of the Pueblo's cultural development. In order to express our values that we hold so dearly to us today, it is important to gain insight to what has brought us to this point. Archaeological studies indicate that in the late 15 and early 1600s, Pewaukee Pueblo was a large, had a large population. <coughs> and since the early Spanish settlements of the early 1600s, Pewaukee has struggled to maintain its culture. Twice in its history, the village was, le was left abandoned. In 1699, due to Spanish colonization, the Pueblo was deserted. In 1864, a plea was made to claim title to the original land grant of the 13,000 acres. The Pueblo and its inhabitants were again devastated by a smallpox epidemic, lack of water, and encroaching non-Indians, which forced many to move away. By 1912, the last known tribal member, who was acting as governor, left the reservation for outside employment. In 1934, the Commission of the Indian Affairs issued a call asking for all tribal members to return to the reservation. In 1946, the Pueblo became a federally recognized tribe. Each, each time the Pueblo people came back, change was inevitable. But, stri their strength, but strengthened by their resolve, the tribe has overcome adversity and has adjusted to many changes. In just the past 30 years, we have seen many firsts. In 1973, Pueblo Pueblo danced traditional dances for the first time in over 100 years. In 1972, Pueblo Pueblo elected its first female governor. In 1988, a tribal resolution was adopted to develop the Poe Culture Center Museum. And in 1992, the Pueblo began construction of its kiva, or a ceremonial place. It was the first time in over 100 years. And just recently, two months ago, in December 12th of 2001, Pueblo dances were, were led by Pueblo Pueblo tribal members as drummers and singers. Prior to this, Pueblo had graciously, graciously accepted the help of neighboring tribes. The hardships Pewaukee has faced and endured has allowed the tribe to place a priority on its cultural revitalization. The vehicle for this reemergence is the Poe Center Museum. The Poe Center Museum is more than a museum. It is a learning center for both the functional and traditional arts. Poe and Tewa means the road or path, the path taken during life. In other words, the Poe is the philosophy of life. The mission statement of Poe is, it is the goal of the Po Center to create a place for the people of Northern Pueblos to recreate their traditional ties to the Tewa culture and belief and to express these through art. The Po Center serves as a national model for cultural revitalization as well as intertribal cooperation. The Po Center is currently still under construction but has approximately 26,000 square feet complete. The space is used for administration and office space as well as studio space. Once complete, the Poe Center facility will be a permanent home for the art collection as well as be an exhibit area, and its museum will promote the greater understanding of the Tewa tribes. 
As I noted, there was functional traditional arts. The functional arts include table classes, or traditional language, weaving, um, high tanning, moccasin, basket, and drum making classes. Current traditional arts include pottery, jewelry, sculpture, as well as business and business development courses. Classes are offered to all Native Americans, and the original scope of work was for Native Americans of Northern New Mexico, however that has since expanded. The tribes of Hickory, Apache, Navajo, Acoma, Sioux, Cherokee, to name a few, are represented in its current student register. The classes offered by the Post Center are certified by the U.S. Department of Education, and as well as the Post Center Vocational Education Program is accredited by the University of New Mexico and Northern Mexico Community College. Starting in 1994, the Poe Arts Program had um, in excess of 200 artisans complete the two-year program. Currently, 87 individuals are enrolled at the Poe Center. An additional training program has begun at the Pauke Pueblo Boys and Girls Youth um, Program, where they have in excess of 20, 200 children. In addition to just being an introduction to Native American arts, the program is also incorporated with an anti-drug project. The Pueblo of Pauke's emergence as a developing tribe begins a new chapter with the Poe Center. It is, the resor it is this resource that the tribe leans on for its strength, cultural development, and learning. As a developing tribe, Pawaki has paid close attention to ensure its future. Extensive infrastructure and planning have gone into all aspects of economic and social projects. The creation of the Poe Center is the infrastructure of the, po the Pueblo's cultural revitalization and continuity. As noted by Andrew, we did receive the award last year. Our um, project was the unique collaboration between the company I work for, which is Pawaki Pueblo Construction Service Corporation, and the Post Center. Um, as I noted prior previously, the Post Center was established in 1988. Um, at that time, the tribe is has a very small economic base. Um, we had a grocery store and a hardware store, and. Um, we have a small 13,000 acres, so it was limited as to what our resources were. And when the tribe embarked on this large project to build a post center, how to sustain this project was um, a key issue. So using an innovative project, they developed and incorporated Pawaki Pueblo Construction Service Corporation. The corporation, which first would build the um, post center project, which is a multi-phase project, um, at cost. Secondly, it would do work off the reservation where revenues from the profit center would go back to build the post center facility. And in ensuring that, not only will it build the post center, but it also help keep and maintain the projects that it has going on right now. So in conclusion, we are so very proud of our accomplishments, our survival, and our future.